Me escuchan, chicos. Can you hear me? Good morning. Good, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, I hear you. Ah, vaya, gracias. Es que es que no me daba la no me daba la ay, ¿cómo se dice? La notificación de que me estaban escuchando. Vaya, chicos, ya voy para mí. Ay, ay. Vaya, aquí lo voy a presentar, permítanme. Nos quedamos acá. ¿Se acuerdan que íbamos a hacer preguntas? Ok. So, the questions that we were going to ask, we are going to ask in the breakout rooms. Do you remember? We have what's the most interesting holiday or festival in your country? Where is it? How do people celebrate it? Do you eat any special food? Right. Uh, what do you like most about it and what else do people do? OK, so in this case, we are going to uh, check the questions that I shared with you yesterday. Eh, aquí se lo voy a poner de regreso. Permítame, creo que allí había algo más que les habían compartido. Ah, no, aquí están. De... Aquí están las preguntas, ya les estoy diciendo las que no son. Aquí están. Vaya, chicos, these are the questions that you are going to discuss. Ahí se las puse. Vaya. Ok, so vamos a dar aquí el, el, el tiempo para que entren a los breakout rooms y luego pues, ah no, antes de eso voy a pasar asistencia, permítanme. Give me one second. Vaya. Ada Agar Burgos Magaña. Ada. Brenda Isabel Castro Ruiz. Presentita. Gracias. Eh, Claudia Lisset Velázquez de Salgar. Thank you, Damaris Saray García. Damaris Saray García Cerón. Damaris Saray. Eh, Daniel Alejandro Llanes Díaz. Present teacher. Gracias, Eliu Fernando Flores Díaz. Present teacher. Gracias, Elsie Cristina Coreas de Ramírez. Flor Noemí Dimas de Rivas. Present Vaya, Francisco Antonio Calderón Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco Ernesto Jiménez Rivera. Gabriel José Hernández López. Gisela Emperatriz Cañas Bonilla. Present. Gracias. Eh, Héctor Iván Pérez Martínez. Presente. Thank you, Iván Ibrahim Ramírez Quijano. Iván. Eh, Julio César Campos Yara. Present teacher. Gracias. Carla Alicia Barrera Mena. Carla Alicia. Carla Elena López Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alexander Sánchez Ramos. Present. Thank you. María Dolores García de López. Rebeca María Rosales Romero. Wendy Paola López Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Xiomara Violeta Salazar Iraeta. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Elizabeth González Cartagena. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Vaya, tenemos algunos ya que se han unido. ¿Alguien más que se haya unido en este momento y no, y no alcanzó a decirme presente? Adagar Burgos Magaña, present. Vaya, gracias, Ada. Teacher. Dígame. Uh, I just to call change to the, my cell phone to my computer just now. Okay. Es Daniel Alejandro. Janes Díaz. Ah, Janes Díaz. Sí, ya lo agregué acá. ¿Quién más falta? Okay. Vaya, perfecto. Entonces, I'm going to wait 
so more students, you know, can join porque me hacen falta acá algunos. Así que eh, let me see if we can uh, move on to the next point, okay? Dígame, Carla. De la asistencia. Ah, vaya, Carla, ahorita, espérame. Sorry. Carla. Carla Alicia. Carla Alicia. Bye. Thank you very much. Three, six, nine, tengo 12. Sí, creo que sí. Vaya, chicos, let's do something. We're going to move to the breakout rooms. Vamos a entrar a los breakout rooms. Como habíamos eh, acordado el día de ayer, we are going to ask these questions, okay? How old are people or how old are people when they get married? ¿Verdad? Is there an engagement period? How long is it? Who pays for the wedding? Who is invited? Where is the wedding ceremony usually held? What happens during the ceremony? What do the bride and the groom usually wear? Is there a reception after the ceremony? What type of food is served at the reception? What kinds of gifts do people usually give? Where do couples like to go on their honeymoon? And how long is the honeymoon? Do you have questions about the vocabulary words? Questions about the vocabulary words? No questions? Okay, very good. I'm going to uh, take you to the breakout rooms right now. And please try to ask as many questions as possible, okay? Hay que preguntar todo lo que se pueda. Remember that this is your time for you to ask, okay? And to practice with your classmates. Sería 19, that's gonna be, I'm going to make 10. Vaya chicos. So there you go. Please move to the breakout rooms. Yo lo voy a ir visitando eh, uno por uno, de acuerdo? Vamos entrando a los breakout rooms. Eh, dígame, Jocelyn. Thank you, teacher. Go in. I'm in dígame. the office, teacher. Ah, ok. Bye. Aquí escríbame Thank en you, el teacher. chat de aquí, de, de, de Zoom. Ok. Okay, mm -hmm. teacher, thank you. Bye. Flor y Gabriel, van a pasar a los breakout rooms. Los voy a, los voy a ingresar nuevamente. ¿Les aparece la invitación? Flor y Gabriel Hernández. Flor, Noemí y Gabriel Hernández. Le pregunto a Flor si va a ingresar porque hay alguien esperando por usted. Entonces, si no va a entrar, lo tendría que cambiar con alguien más. Ada Agar. Eh, se salió del breakout room, o no va a ingresar. Recordemos que no nos podemos quedar afuera, ¿verdad? Hay que entrar e ingresar para que nos aparezca la asistencia. <laughs> okay. Um, um, uh -huh. how, how long is it? How about the, the 
the the same question. How long uh, is the engagement period? Uh -huh. Okay, uh, it's usually about six months. Six months to one year, right? Six months to six months to one year. Uh -huh. Generally, that's the time frame. Mm -hmm. You're right. Continue, please continue. Uh, 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 perdón, bride, the bride is la novia and the groom is el novio. Uh -huh. Who's invited? Who's invited? Um, family of the groom? Dijo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The groom's family, yeah. Bride. Bride's family. And friends. And, and friends of friends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, uh, where's uh, where's the the wedding the wedding ceremony usually held? I... Two persons or, or two people in this case, to most to be uh, to most pay in the same same part. <laughs> in my in my opinion. Yes. Okay. The other and question who's is invited. who invited. Yeah, who's inviting? Many people, friends. Principal. Uh, mainly, friends. mainly, principalmente, mainly. Oh, mainly. Mm -hmm. I, in my opinion, the mainly is the the families. The family and friends. And friends, okay. Mm -hmm. What do you see in, in the numbers? The number invited. The, the number or the people that's uh, inviting to the wedding. There's normal there are, the normal wedding. There are big weddings with fifty people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or yeah. hundreds. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. Okay. Yes. Where's the wedding um, ceremony usually held? Okay, uh, the, the ceremony is usually uh -huh. held uh, by um, family, the, the family um, fa and the family does boyfriend and girlfriend. Seria the groom's family? Groom, el novio, the groom's family, and the bride's family. Y la okay. familia de la novia. ¿Cuál es, ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Groom o es sea, el comprometido. No, groom es el novio, el que ya está para casarse. Bride uh -huh. es la novia, que está para casarse. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces ya no se dice boyfriend, porque es el novio. Ya no. para casarse es otra cosa. Correcto, ajá, ya para cuando estamos hablando de la planificación y la ceremonia es bride and groom. Uh -huh. ¿Y cómo sería la, 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 la traducción de... de... De esa palabra, perdón, porque esa no me la podía. Sí, es novio y novia, pero novio y novia en la boda. ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Ajá, en thank la you. ceremonia. Sí, en la Ruth, ceremonia. Thank you, thank chicos you. chicos y bride para la chica. Uh -huh. Ok. Continue, continue. Okay, continue, Amari. Um, what happens during the ceremony? Mm, during a... Um, Un or a uh, two or. But she's asking eh, what, what happens. Ajá, ¿Qué sucede uh -huh, en la ceremonia? Uh -huh. Ah, perdón. Eh, 
is in ceremony in ceremony is a longer um share share together in in a day to i don't know other things yes yes could be see maybe but this this one last as long as uh, it takes to plan and, and organize the the wedding <laughs> Mm -hmm. So you are including the 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 planning uh the planning um period, Francisco. The period, right? Uh -huh, the planning also. You are including the planning in the uh the duration of the process. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. But what about the ceremony? How long does it take for the ceremony in El Salvador? Mm. Mm. This uh, more or less a uh, one hour. Mm -hmm. one yeah. Hour or maybe it's it's like if it's a mass, right? Si es una misa, mass service, it generally takes an hour and thirty minutes or less, or incluso right. menos, verdad? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ok, very good. Continúen, chicos. Voy a visitar ya los últimos okay. dos, creo que me faltan. Ajá. Ok, ok, thank you. Teacher. Ok, thank you. Usually, hair. Hair, hair no, no, no sé qué sería hair. Where is the they waiting ceremony? Sería. Usually, hair. ¿A dónde se celebra? Held ah. es a uh, mantener, por ejemplo, donde se va a tener la reunión. When, uh, when is the meeting, no, when, where the meeting will be held. A donde se va a tener la reunión. So in this case, we're talking about the ceremony. Ok, estamos hablando de donde se va a realizar, verdad, esa ceremonia. Ok, pero nos saltamos una. Who is invited? Oh, I'm sorry, Jeff. Who is invited? And the the invites are the family more near the closest the, relatives. The closest the closest relatives. relatives. Mm -hmm. The closest. Cuando decimos the closest relative teacher, ¿a qué nos referimos? Nos referimos agregando the closest. La más cercana es el superlativo est close. Closer, comparativo, más cercano y closest, el más cercano, el superlativo, de, el adjetivo, perdón, el nivel superlativo del adjetivo. Uh -huh. Si yo digo close, cercano. Si digo closer, más cercano. Y si digo the closest, es el más cercano. Uh -huh. Pero cuando nos referimos a personas sería en este caso. Sí, ahí es como son adjetivos, los adjetivos son para personas, animales o cosas, no hay problema. Ah, okay, teacher. Por Thank ejemplo, you. Yo, por ejemplo, este Wendy, Paola, yo puedo decir, el, la, el banco más cerca que, de aquí es el que está al, al cruzar la calle. The closest bank is across from my house. Oh, okay. the, the closest bank. Ajá. Entonces, como son adjetivos, ¿verdad? Superlativos, no importa con qué lo utilice, personas, animales o cosas. Uh -huh. Close, eh, eh, um... Ah, se me olvidó cómo se dice eh, deletrear. Uh, spell. 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 Please. Yes. The closest. The closest is the T H E. Verdad. Yes. Closest. Okay. C L O S E S T. The closest. Closest. Como, como closest. No. Closest. Closest. Uh -huh. No sé si le va a aparecer, si lo escriben en el chat, le va a aparecer. Quiero ver. Eh, the closest, oops, closest relatives. Veamos, relatives. Mira, les aparece ahí. Ah, yes, ah, closest. Ajá, es ah, que okay. el adjetivo es closed. Ajá. Ah. Cercano, pero como verbo significa cerrar. Pero acordémonos que en inglés ah, sí. las, pues, tiene, las, las palabras pueden tener más de un, de un uso, más de una función. Uh -huh. 
Ah, ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Vaya, chicos, voy a regresar y allá me los voy a traer a todos para la sala Thank principal. <laughs> ok, gracias, teacher. You're welcome. Uy. Vaya chicos, ya van a venir sus demás compañeros. Hay unos que están platicando bastante, así que los vamos a llamar a ellos ahorita para que regresen y ya en un minuto van a estar a, incorporándose. ¿De acuerdo? Ok, teacher. Okay. Very good. Permítame, chicos, me voy a cerrar algunas páginas que tengo abiertas acá. Teacher. Dígame. Eh, ¿Me puedes repetir la palabra de novios para casarse? La quiero como apuntar. Aquí está, mire, es la pregunta que dice, What do the bride and the groom usually wear? Ajá. Eh, ajá, bride es novia y groom es novio, pero... Ah, ok. Ajá, la no, ceremonia. No, no me la sabía. Bride and groom. Bride and you, You're welcome. Vaya, yo creo que sí, a todos regresar, ¿verdad? Así que eh, I could hear that some of you were talking a lot, right? And, and, and um, um, bueno, traté de entrar a todos los, los breakout rooms, ¿verdad? Para ver en qué podía ayudar. Así que eh, this is about, you know, the conversation, okay? And let me ask you, ahora lo vamos a contestar entre todos. How old are people when they get married in El Salvador? Guys, what do you think? What are the ranges? ¿Cuáles son los rangos de, de, de edad? What are those age range, ranks, or ranges, verdad, para casarse? What do you think? Julio César. Perdón, es que Julio César levantó la mano. Dígame. Okay. Está en mute. People, people uh, in El Salvador, in El Salvador, people usually... Uh, get married um, when they are uh, 25 years, 25 to, to 30 years old. Correct. Actually, uh, that's something that we can say in English. As we say in English, they are in their, their mid-20s, right? Mm -hmm. When, vamos a hacer las oraciones, ¿verdad? Eh, in El Salvador, eh, people, ¿verdad? People get married when they are in their mid-twenties, en sus, en sus 20, a mediados de sus 20, ¿verdad? Twenties, twenties. Okay, muy bien. Excelente. Uh, any other opinion? Solo que hoy si levanten las manitas para no interrumpir a, a otra persona que hable, ¿verdad? So, anyone else? ¿Alguien más? How old are people you... Usually when they get married. What about question two? Is there an engagement period? And if there is, how long is it? Is there an engagement period, guys? Ese periodo de el engagement es el compromiso, ¿verdad? Is there an engagement period? Hay un periodo de, 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 en el que pasan comprometidos. ¿Será que eso se da aquí? Yes, there is an engagement period, teacher. Okay, Daniel, dígame. In my opinion, that is normal. But I think the period is around one year. Between but, six months and one year, right? Yeah. It's around one year or one year and a half. Yeah. Ya, ahí sí le tocó, ¿verdad? Esperar como por... Several years, when uh, you have to think about it, okay? Then, what about the next one? Uh, who, no, who pays for the wedding in El Salvador, guys? Who pays for the wedding? What do you think? Is it both? Is it only one? Ali, eh, Carla, Alicia, diga. Actually, the couple. The couple, right? They raised, right? They raised, uh, they raise money or they collect. 
¿verdad? Reúnen dinero entre los dos to pay. They raise money to pay for the wedding, right? To pay for the okay. wedding. Okay. Eh, anyone else? Raise your hand. Levanten las manitas. Eh, dígame, Daniel. In some case, the family of the couple. The couple's uh, family. The couple's family, yeah. Yes, I have seen, you know, several cases uh -huh, where, well, lucky you, right, Kevin? But uh, I think, I mean, if you're getting married, you should pay for it, right? But hay gente que sí, ¿verdad? Que es super, super buena onda. And they say, no, oh, we're going to pay for the wedding. So welcome, uh, más que bienvenido. Then, who is invited, guys? Who is invited? Who do we invite to our wedding? Uh, Hector, Ivan. The couple family teacher. Yeah, the couple's family uh, uh, members, yeah, they, right? They, the closest, the closest family. The closest relatives, uh -huh, the closest relatives, that's true. So we we invite uh, the couple's family members or the closest relatives, okay? Muy bien, excelente. And sometimes eh, when, this is the thing, guys, cuando ya hablamos de alguien, por ejemplo, que tiene un trabajo pues un poco más... Eh, que se involucra bastante, ¿verdad? Con, con mucho, mucha gente, mucho compañero de trabajo. Entonces, you have to invite your relatives, you have to invite eh, your friends, and you have to invite your coworkers, right? So it, you have to include, right, more people. What about here? Where is the wedding ceremony usually held? So when do they celebrate the ceremony, guys? We're talking about just the ceremony, right? Eh, Flor Noemi? Teacher, sometimes the ceremony is on the church or- In the church, okay. In the church and sometimes they rent a, a special house. I don't know how can I say to, to make the reception. Yes, it is true, right? They, they uh, pay right for a place so they can celebrate the ceremony there okay very good for the reception Hector Ivan the ceremony usually held in the beach or in a good place okay it is well generally no because generally it's in the church right or in a reception uh, receptions, you know, uh, local, but there are some weddings that, you know, nowadays it's becoming popular to to hold the ceremony uh, at, well, in the beach or at the beach, I would say, right? at the beach or a, hot, or a hotel, right? And, uh, well, some people decide to do it at home, right? And just to invite the closest uh, relatives and friends. Uh, what happens during the ceremony, guys? What happens during the ceremony? Mm -hmm. uh, Julio Cesar. You are on mute. You are on mute. Uh, during the ceremony, the, the bride and groom uh say say uh their bows their bounce yes uh so, they they exchange uh rings mm -hmm. and and they kiss at the end of the yes, ceremony exactly mm -hmm. they say their their bows right so botos their bows right they exchange rings right and they kiss at the end. Hmm, okay, cute. Very good. Now, what about the next one? Uh, what do the bride and groom usually wear? So, la novia y el novio, what do they wear? What about the bride, Daniel? Y luego Francisco. The bride is usually used. Where? In a white, in the white long dress. 
-hmm. with a big child. Yes. And, and usually the the groom use uh, a suit, a normal suit. A tuxedo. Tuxedo, yeah. With a, in a formal, on a cute tuxedo. That's it's usually. Mm -hmm. yes, the, Solo the una, una cosa, chicos. Remember, no usamos use para ropa, ¿verdad? Usamos wear. So, exactly. Así como se los acaba de describir, Daniel, that's how it is, right? So, the the the, the bride wears a long white dress with a long trail. Trail es la cola, ¿verdad? Y como nos dijo él, also the groom wears a tuxedo eh, or a suit. Aquí en El Salvador, pues, no nos vamos así tan eh, común, smoking, creo que le llaman, I don't know. We, well... You know, men usually wear uh, a suit, okay? But also, if you want to go the extra mile, and if you have more money, you can wear a tuxedo, right? And that's a tuxedo a like more. a John Wick, all, all black. Uh-huh, exactly. <laughs> they look like penguins, right? Tuxedo, let me see if I can find um, an example. It's just casi que lo mismo para mí, look. Casi que lo mismo es que un traje, vea. So this is a tuxedo, okay? Look, un smoking, decimos en español. Es un smoking tuxedo o traje de noche masculino, okay? Es un traje de etiqueta semiformal para lucir en fiestas nocturnas, okay? So the wedding, <laughs> right? Now, uh, let's see. Is there a reception? Uh, yes, I'm sorry, Francisco. You were going to say something. Thank you, Daniel. Stay mute. No problem, no problem, teacher. The similar, the opinion uh, at the Daniel, uh, the bride uh, usually wear wear elegant suit. Exactly, because here, guys, aquí estamos hablando y no hemos como mencionado dos cosas, verdad? Because we have the what's the name of this? Espérenme. Ya les digo. No, lo voy a buscar en inglés. Porque es que yo lo que hago, por ejemplo, cuando no me acuerdo de algo, es que vengo y empiezo a decir, a, a, a digitar lo que quiero saber. Por ejemplo, what's the process when people get married in a town hall? What you need to know about... Ah, city, city hall weddings, right? Estas son las que se llevan en la alcaldía, las que se llevan a cabo en alcaldías. Eh, eh, so you have to schedule... You have to schedule your wedding ceremony because you need a lawyer. Entonces, hay unas que el Estado tiene, porque el Estado sí da, ¿verdad? Y esas son las que se celebran en la alcaldía. So, eh, those are the weddings that they are that are celebrated in a city town hall. Town hall, alcaldía, ¿verdad? Eh, what's the legal? What's the legal process? The legal process to get married. Ajá, ya ahí está, vea, aparece in a town hall. Ajá. Que está Ajá, pues sí, eso sería eh, if you want to get married, also you need to you need to uh, take all your uh, civil, aquí está, civil marriage, right? Sí, creo que es civil marriage. Let me see. Ah, sí, chicos, y aquí Cuando uno no sabe, se rebusca. Aquí está, ve. A legally recognized marriage that takes place without a religious ceremony. To conduct a civil marriage, you need to be trained and legally appointed, right? Civil marriage. Okay. Y dice aquí, a civil marriage is a marriage performed, recorded, and recon recognized as a government official, right? Bueno. Eso es lo que quería decir. <laughs> now you uh, you get my point. Now, um, let me see. Is there a reception after the ceremony, guys? Is there a reception? <laughs> sí, dice Daniel, okay? Pero yes, eso es más que todas las chicas, ¿verdad? Well, in my <laughs> case, in my case, I got married, but I, I told my, my now husband, ¿verdad? 
And then he was my my boyfriend. But I said, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want to spend money on a wedding. I just want to celebrate the the, the ceremony. That's what I said, right? So it's just, I think it, the, the idea is to um, like to celebrate the union, right? And, you know, some people celebrate uh, and they uh, offer a reception. In, in my case, I didn't want that, just in no quise eso. I prefer, you know, I remember we got married and we got home and we had dinner with the family. That's what we did. That's it, okay? And and I liked it. I liked it very much. So uh, over here, what type of food is served at the reception? So tell me, guys, what are your experiences? What have you eaten in a reception? Okay. Or have you ever tried something exotic? Eh, dígame, Daniel. <laughs> no, the, um, on and I, all the, the women that I've been there. Invited to? Yeah. It's meat, chicken, uh -huh. salad, and it's a normal food, I think. Mm hmm yeah. yeah, that's totally right. And, and and generally they ask you if you want to eat meat or if you want to want to eat chicken, right? So they offer two courses, right? Yeah. Dos platos principales. Muy bien. Anyone else that has eaten a different dish or has tried a different dish? Exotic ones? Nadie? A las, a las bodas a las que han ido, que han, que han este, Beautiful. descubierto? Beautiful, like a... Uh... Uh, fish and crab or tuna, maybe. Uh -huh. I <laughs> yeah, I, in my case, I have attended only one. Una y pues no fue la mía, fue otra, ¿verdad? I have attended one and I remember I ate, I think it was meat. Uh -huh. And they asked me if I wanted to, me dieron a escoger entre un, entre un plato, entre dos platos, vea. So I I decided to go, you know, uh, for the meat and I liked it. So generally the menu, you know, hovers, you know, those two options. ¿verdad? What about this one? Uh, what kinds of gifts do people usually give? Y aquí si usted se casó, pues cuéntenos, ¿verdad? Esos regalos así un poco eh, desconcertantes, ¿verdad? Un poco así como que y esto, vea. So what type of gifts do people give in El Salvador? Uh -huh. What do we generally give? ¿Qué, qué regala la gente generalmente? Me, teacher. Money. Ok, espérame. Julio César levantó la mano primero. Dígame. Eh, generally, people uh, gives appliances, uh, towels. Uh, uh -huh. Let me see. Uh, some, of, some of them money. Yes, uh -huh. that's true. Uh -huh. Continue. I'm sorry, Julio Cesar. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Um, they give. Uh, uh, what else? S some trips, uh, or someone else uh pays a uh, pays for the a uh, honeymoon. Mm hmm. And they give you as that as a present, right? Exactly. Uh huh. Exactly. I get chivo, verdad? Genial. <laughs> okay. So like, hey, here you have a hotel, you know, uh, um, what's uh reservation, so you can go there and celebrate your honeymoon, right? Well, yeah. that that yeah, but yes, those presents exist, right? And they happened, and they are given in El Salvador too. Okay, eh, Francisco Antonio y then Carla Alicia. Yes, for example, uh, uh, cash, cash in envelope. Uh -huh. <laughs> they example. give you money, as, as Julio yes. Cesar said, right? Mm -hmm. And crockery. Yeah. Crockery, uh, or or utensils uh, uh, they use in, in the house. Appliances. Appliances, right. Mm -hmm. And only that. Yes, right. Actually, they, they give you, you know, uh, things related to tableware, right? Tableware, including crockery, utensils, etc. And also, they give you appliances, como un hornito, una tostadora, una licuadora. Esos son appliances, right? Yes. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Eh, Carla. I, I, 
Ya lo dijeron, me va a decir. Sí, <risa> creo que di um, glad. Dice como un gift. Yes, it's true. Let me see. What's another name for this? Um... For some special pictures. Oh, I'm sorry? For some special photographs. Ah, yeah, like pictures, uh, things to hang on the wall, pinturas or photos, that's true. Okay, sometimes uh, uh, they give you the, the kind of decoration for the house, right? Okay, very good, excellent. Now, uh, let me see. Bueno, esas dos preguntas ya son relacionadas con la honeymoon, pero ahí lo voy a dejar. Now, I'm going to move guys to the exam and very quickly we're going to check, okay, the information related to the, to the midterm, okay. Ya terminamos todos lo que es la sección 3 y el midterm exam, chicos. O hay alguien que haga falta, hay alguien que tenga alguna pregunta, alguna duda. Ya les pongo la pantalla, permítanme. Uh -huh. No? Are you finished, teacher? Vaya, perfecto. Muy bien. Solo de mi momento que está este, cargando aquí esto. I don't finish yet, teacher. You haven't? The, the, no, I haven't. I only finished the session one and two because I already been in my work and in my job. And don't finish, maybe tonight, maybe finish. Mm -hmm. Sí, porque según entiendo, esta tiene que estar terminada hoy, chicos, ¿verdad? La sección 3. Eh, la otra semana vamos con la sección 4, section number 4. Y la última semana es para section 5 in, in the final exam, ¿verdad? Pero aquí, ahorita, rapidito, pues vamos a revisar. Ay, perdón. No carga el... No carga su... Módulo, permítanme. Intermedio. Vaya. Entonces, acá vamos a revisar el, el, el midterm exam. ¿Ok? Tenemos acá en number one, it says circle the words. ¿Right? Circle the words. Read the sentence and choose the correct part of the two-part verb missing. ¿Ok? So, as you can remember, right, we were talking about two uh, word verbs or phrasal verbs. I don't know if you remember that. Okay, so today we're going to try to complete all these exercises, right? Because actually I have to um, to complete them with you. Tengo que completarlas con ustedes, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos acá. So which one do you think it's the correct answer? Please clean off, clean up, or clean non. Y luego dice bedroom. It's really a mess. What do you think is the right answer? Dígame, Xiomara. Please clean up. Clean up. Okay, muy bien. What about number two, guys? Could you please put over, off, or away the groceries in the kitchen? Put away is the correct teacher. Okay, put away. Number three. Can you turn down, out, on, on? the TV while I'm on the phone? Dígame, Jocelyn. Turn down. Turn down, okay. Very good. Then part number two, instructions. Read the sentences and choose between an infinitive or a gerund, okay? So microwave ovens are used to cooking, for cooking or to cook. Dígame, Gisela. For cooking. For cooking. Okay, muy bien. When you go to the beach, try not to get, to don't get, not getting the camcorder wet. Camcorder wet. Not What is to get. Not picture. to get. Okay. Three. You can use my cell phone. Living. Or leave or to leave a voicemail. To leave a voicemail. To leave a voicemail. 
don't forget for taking taking to take your ATM card with you. Dígame, Carla. Está en mute. To take. To take. Vamos a ver. Y como ustedes ven, todas nuestras respuestas están correctas. Así que, good job. Now, this one, letter B, pues lo hicimos, ¿verdad? Ya lo habíamos, eh, ya lo habíamos resuelto. Y aquí, pues, estaba un poco confuso porque um, no les aceptaba a algunos de ustedes la forma en la que lo ingresaban, ¿verdad? Entonces, teníamos, tenemos aquí, close the door, please. Y ya para usar could, ¿verdad? Could you close the door, right? Could you close the door, coma, please, right? Luego tenemos la siguiente. En esta, pues, vamos a decir, tenemos, please take out the garbage. And would you, lo vamos a hacer con would you. Would you please take out the garbage? Would you please take out the garbage? Don't sit there. Would you mind? Would you mind? Decíamos que cada vez que usamos mind, vamos a eh, agregar un gerundio, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando agregamos un gerundio, si es positivo, solo agrego ing, pero si es negativo, agrego la partícula not antes del gerundio. Entonces, en este caso dice, would you mind not sitting? Would you mind not sitting there? ¿Verdad? Luego tenemos, please take the cat out. Y lo vamos a hacer con can you. Can you please take the cat out? ¿Verdad? Repeat that, please. Could you? Could you repeat that, please? ¿Verdad? Y como pueden ver, esta nos había quedado correcta. Vamos ahora a listening, chicos. I'm going to play the listening for you. And it says, instructions. Listen to the conversation and check your answers, okay? Stephanie says Richard is a geek, a hacker, a mouse. Barry asks Marta how to play computer games, scan photographs, or surf the internet. According to Eve, she uses, or Eva, she uses her computer to play games, her roommates use her computer a lot, or her computer isn't working properly. Number four, Heather shows Carlos how to use his new computer too. Cut and paste, drag and drop, highlight text. Okay, so let's pay attention and listen to the conversations. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Stephanie, have you seen Richard recently? I've left him a few voicemails, but he never calls me back. Is he okay? He never calls me back either, but don't worry about him. He bought a new computer last week. So? So he spends all day and night on his computer. He's become a total geek. Really? He never used to like computers. Well, he does now. He never goes out and has fun anymore. Two. Hey, Martha, can you come help me? I'm having computer problems. You? But you're such a technophile. You're always surfing the net. Yeah, but I don't know how to do everything. So what's the problem, Barry? Whoa, what are all these photos doing on the table? I'm trying to scan them so I can email them to friends. Oh, scanning is easy. Place the photo here. Be sure to put it face down and then double click on this. That's it? That was easy. Three. Guess what, Eva? I just bought a really cheap plane ticket online. Really? I always go to a travel agent to plan my vacations. Well, you can sometimes get cheaper tickets on the internet. You should browse some websites. You have a computer at home, don't you? Yeah, but I never use it. Why not? What's wrong with it? Nothing. But my roommates are always playing games on it. When I tell them I need to use it, they say they're just going to finish the game, and then it's... Four. How do you like your new computer, Carlos? Actually, Heather, I prefer my old one. Really? Why? 
there are so many things I can't do. I don't know how to highlight text, drag and drop, or cut and paste. I could do all that on my old computer. And please don't tell me to read the manual. <laughs> Let's take one problem at a time. Okay. I want to highlight those two words. Just use your mouse, like this, and then press this key here. That was easy. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, very good. So, number one, Stephanie says Richard is a geek, a hacker, a mouse. What do you think? Yes, Julio Cesar? Está en mute, Julio Cesar. Richard is, is a geek. A geek, right? A geek. A geek, exactly. Okay. Mm. Uh, Barry asks Marta how to... Number two, eh, Carla. Scan photographs. Scan photographs. Three, according to Eva, what happens? One, two, or three? Eh, Francisco Antonio? Option two. Okay. Her, her remains use her computer a lot. Very good. Number four, Heather shows Carlos how to use his new computer too. Dígame, Julio Cesar. Highlight text. Highlight text. Very good. Okay. So, guys, what is the meaning of geek? <clears throat> Do you know what, what geek means? A visto. <laughs> <laughs> A geek. Okay, so yeah, in, in, in a way, but also when we're talking about geeks, el, el, en sí, el, um, ¿qué me lo puedo decir? Eh, el significado, ¿verdad? O la interpretación que tiene es un poquito diferente a decir adicto. Se lo voy a compartir, ¿verdad? Es esta, Uy, no, esta no, es esta, geek. Okay, a geek is a person who is knowledgeable about and obsessively interested in a particular subject, especially one that is technical or of specialist of niche or niche of interest. O sea, un geek es una persona que sabe mucho, ¿verdad? Eh, de una forma compulsiva. Sabe bastante sobre computadoras, por ejemplo, o sabe bastante sobre videojuegos, o sabe bastante sobre... Um, ¿Qué les puedo decir? Historia, ¿verdad? Computers, etcétera. Eso es un geek, ¿verdad? Pero son muy conocedores del tema, ¿verdad? Eso es un geek. Y le llaman adicto porque es una persona que quiere saber más sobre ese tema. ¿Ok? Un erudito eh, del tema. Ajá, cabal. <risa> Vaya, chicos. If you see, all the answers are correct. Ahí están. Todas están correctas. Así que, good job. Now let's move to the reading, okay? There's a reading here and there are some questions, okay? So first, let's go ahead and read the questions. Como ya les he recomendado siempre, lo primero es ir a ver cuáles son las preguntas, qué es lo que tengo que buscar. How did the teams respond to the neighbor's request? Mm, okay, entonces tenemos acá dos personas, perdón, tenemos acá unos adolescentes respondiéndole a sus... Uh, Digamos, lo que los vecinos les están pidiendo, ¿verdad? What happened as the tree was being chopped down? What is the problem with the dogs? And what was Sally's advice? Okay? So I'm going to read it for you. Se los voy a leer porque está bien chiquitito. No lo voy a poner a leer así como se ve acá. Entonces tenemos acá la... Ay, ¿qué pasa? Um... No funciona. Bye. Dear Sally, we live in a neighborhood where everyone knows each other and we all get along pretty well. However, a new family recently moved in and now we have some problems. The family's two teenagers played the music really loudly. When we politely asked, would you mind turning down the music? Or would you mind turning the music down? They just looked at us. Next, the family destroyed a beautiful tree. I hated to see them cutting it down. I ran out and shouted, can you please leave the tree alone? But they chopped it down anyway. 
They also have dogs and bark loudly all day. We've said many times, please keep your dogs inside at night so we can get some sleep. But they won't do it. We don't know what to do anymore. How can we all get along? Slowly losing our minds, right? Perdiendo como es la paciencia lentamente. Just slowly. You have met, made polite requests with no results. The next time you hear loud music or barking dogs, call your local police. That should solve the problems or those problems. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about the tree. Try to stay polite and let the police take care of your neighbors. Sally. Okay? So, now, esta es una carta que le llegó a esta persona pidiendo consejo, ¿verdad? Now, how did the teens respond to the neighbor's request? A, B, or C, guys? Cuando llegaron le dijeron, please turn down the volume. Dígame, Francisco. Letter C, teacher. They ah, didn't say anything. They didn't say anything. They are very complicated. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, of course. Those are teenagers. So what happened as the tree was being chopped down? A, B, or C? Letter B. Letter B, dicen por acá. The okay. new family continued to cut it down. The new family continued to cut, to cut it down. Muy bien. Number three, what is the problem with the dogs, guys? A, B, or C? B. Letter B, right? Letter B, okay. bark all the time. All the time. Mm -hmm. Correct. What's, no, what? was Sally's advice? A, B, or C? Eh, Carla? C. Letter C. Let the police solve the problem. Solo vamos a dar clic en enviar. Y ahí tenemos. Están todas correct. Okay. And the last exercise, el último. Matching. It says, Instructions. Match the phrases with the most appropriate information. Tenemos acá four. Before a young man and woman speak, A, B, C, or D. They often sometimes arrange another date. They usually talk on the phone. They might chat with, other, with each other on the internet. They often meet in a public place, such as a coffee shop. Francisco. Maybe she, they might chat with each other on the internet. Okay, they might chat each other on the, with each other on the internet, okay? Two, before they meet for the first time, uh, Gisela, two? Uh, number two, they usually talk on the telephone. They usually talk on the telephone, right? Three, when they have their first date, a, B, C, or D? They sometimes arrange another day. They usually talk on the phone. They might chat with each other on the internet. They often meet at a public place, such as a coffee shop. Francisco? The last option. They often meet in a public place, such as a coffee shop. And right. Ford, okay, after they meet for the first time, a, B, C, or D? Uh, Francisco. Letter A. They sometimes arrange another date. Okay, they sometimes arrange another date. So we're going to click on send and all our answers are correct. Okay. So this is the midterm exam, guys. Okay, this is the midterm exam. So um, this is where you have to complete. La mayoría creo que ya lo completo, ¿verdad? Pero si habían dudas, ahí están. Voy a finalizar pasando la asistencia de los que no me contestaron en la primera ronda de la asistencia. Tenemos acá a Damari Saraí García Cerón. Present. Thank you. Elsie Cristina Correa de Ramírez. 
Elsie Cristina, no vino. Eh, Francisco Ernesto Jiménez Rivera. I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Gabriel José Hernández López. Present teacher. Thank you. Ibra, no, Iván Ibrahim Ramírez Quijano. Ay, no vino Iván, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Eh, María Dolores García de López. I am here, teacher. Thank you. And Wendy Paola López Martínez. I am here, teacher. Um, yo sí le, le contesté presente cuando, cuando inició la clase. Ah, de verdad. Voy sí, se pasó lista y me dijo el nombre y le dije presente. Ah, bueno, entonces ahí las disculpas. Parece que no le... No le agregué la asistencia. Pero igual, okay, don't teacher. worry. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Gracias. Okay, so I'm going to stop here, guys. And I would like you to have a very, very nice and beautiful evening. Try to rest. And let's meet until next week. Nos vemos la otra semana. Okay? So good night, guys. Take care. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye, guys. Good night, teacher. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye. You're welcome.